Hey guys, so this is going to be the second video of my Fear of God sneaker review trilogy. The bittersweet part of this video is that I'm going to try and sell this shoe. Kind of an unload to reload situation for my sneakers so that I could buy new sneakers to review. And I'm also making this video as a sort of remembrance that I did have the shoe in my collection. Just in case I miss it a little bit. I think I'm talking about shoes. It's so weird. You guys don't understand. So I already talked about who Jerry Lorenzo is as the designer of Fear of God and his other collaborations in my previous videos on the Fear of God Vans Era 95 DX Red Corduroy. So if you haven't seen that, go check out that video after this one. Fear of God has taken the world by storm with its innovative and groundbreaking styles, not only with silhouettes that have never been seen before, but also with classic silhouettes like the Air Rays, the Moccasins, and of course, the Skylon 2s. And yeah, without further ado, let's jump right into my review, impressions, and honest opinions on the Fear of God Nike Skylon 2 in the white colorway. Skyline 2s were first seen on Jerry Lorenzo's feet in the black colorway which released alongside this black and white colorway. A third all bone colorway was also released later on. The Nike Skyline 2 is a classic shoe, mostly known for its paper cup colorways. You've probably seen them back in the 90s. Or if you have a grandma like mine, you probably still have those paper cups sitting around her house. I'm pretty sure my grandma has those cups in a disposable cup dispenser upstairs in the bathroom. Anyways, Jerry Lorenzo was able to take his creative genius and incorporate it in such a classic timeless shoe. This shoe is composed of different materials, a lot of which isn't seen on the original shoe. You've got some nice soft mesh, plush suede, and tumbled leather all in different panels. Hits of 3M strategically placed on the toe box and on the heel of the shoe, with the Fear of God logo placed on the lateral side of the heel. It does stand out more in the black colorway, but I love how it seamlessly blends in with this colorway as well. The shoe comes with rope laces with a plastic lace lock, making it easier to slip in and out of the shoe. Nike branding can be seen on the shoe in the form of the patent leather swooshes found on each side, as well as the classic Nike Air logo embroidered on the back of each heel. Lastly, the shoe is sitting on this off-white midsole with the cream waffle outsole. The whites and creams of the shoe on different panels kind of give this shoe its pop, but still they blend together seamlessly, making it such a well put together shoe. Now let's jump into my honest opinions on the shoe, and for the first time in my sneaker review history, I finally have a shoe that I own that I actually have mixed feelings on. First we have to talk about the fit. I can see that it's true to size for most people, but if you're wide footed like myself, it's probably best to go up half a size. It's not horrible, it's just very snug and it's a very narrow shoe. But when I first started wearing it, I did feel the tightness especially around the pinky area. Almost close to how I feel when I first wore my Jordan 1s, but not as painful. And with that said, the pain did go away after after a few wears so I think it's safe to say that there is a break-in period for the shoe so my final verdict on the fit if you like a snug fit go true to size but if you're wide-footed like me best to go half a size up second and I think is the most well-known comment about the shoe is that the shoe is made with what seems to be very cheap materials and quite frankly I kind of understand where they're coming from I think for the most part it's definitely about the leather here on the lace eyelets and the tongue it's not exactly tumble leather it seems like a very very synthetic leather that seems very brittle and frail. I feel like with time this leather will start to crack and start to kind of flake off or break. But other than that, like I said, all the other materials, they do tie in perfectly together to make a good looking shoe. It just doesn't feel the way that it looks, honestly. The number one thing that I do not like about this shoe, and probably will be the same case for the light bone colorway, is that this thing is a dirt magnet. No joke, the first time that I bought this shoe, I went walking around BGC, which is one of the cleanest cities here in the Philippines, and still somehow I was able to track dirt on the suede upper. Cleaning the shoe doesn't help it either since it is a white shoe. It seems to lose its luster after each clean, and there's still dirt in there that I still can't seem to brush off, it just stays there. And unfortunately, it's just not one of those shoes that look good dirty like Converse's and Vans. They look way better clean, and the fact that you can't clean them properly or that they don't stay clean for a long time doesn't help its case at all. Overall with those said facts, I really do like this shoe more than I dislike it. The vibe I get from it is like alongside those classic white shoes, Air Force Ones, Stan Smiths, low top Converse. I wanted a shoe that you could just slip on a random shirt and some shorts and just go about your day. But because it is such a dirt magnet, I haven't worn the shoe as much as I wish. And mind you, it does get buttery after a few wears, but it still isn't 
the most comfortable shoe in the world which is a big factor for me because comfort over everything in my book which is what kind of pushed me to be able to sell this shoe if I had the cash to go out and buy new shoes to review I wouldn't sell this shoe but since it is more of a burden to have I was willing to make the sacrifice play and let this one go. On the bright side, these shoes really aren't going for much in the sneaker market anyways, compared to the other shoes in the Fear of God collaboration. Some shoes are ranging just a few bucks over retail, and if you're lucky and you know where to look, you can find this colorway and some of the other Fear of God shoes just for under retail as well. So in the future, when I'm in a place where I have enough money to be able to buy the shoe back, I really hope I can have this back in my collection. And that is it for this video. What do you guys think about the shoe? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you think it's smart of me to let go of this shoe? Comment down below what you guys think. I always love replying to you guys and talking to you guys in the comments. Hit subscribe on my channel if you want to see more. Again, go watch my previous video on the Vans Era 95 DX Fear of God collaboration. That one is a beautiful shoe and I do go in depth on the history of Fear of God and Jerry Lorenzo. So if you're into that stuff, go check out that video. Go check out my other videos on my channel I have more sneaker videos I have my recent trip to Japan video I have other travel videos challenge videos everything and anything in between do go check it out on my channel follow me on Instagram at LB Peralta I am a bit more personal there I post my shoes there I post my dogs there I post my travels there I post stories almost every day and sometimes I post stories on shoes that I'm selling just like this one so if you do want to see that type of stuff do give me a follow there And that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys when I see it. Bye guys.